Hello, I'm Matthew Touche, um, grower at Bridgefoot Organics. The box scheme here has been operational for 30 years. I've been involved in the growing for 20 uh, various capacities, but at the moment we're growing in four tunnels plus an acre of field veg plus another two acres of rented field veg. And it's all aimed at supplying local or organic vegetables into a, a local box scheme that delivers into Aberdeen and Aberdeenshire. The box scheme has many customers who love the fact that it's on their doorstep and they get veg 50 weeks of the year and they know it's basically grown close by and I think they enjoy they enjoy the variety as well. Bridgefoot Organic started um, with with a with its original owner uh, of the business, Colin Ward, in ninety one. He got organic certification and moved from livestock. And in addition to that, he grew veg as well. And the easiest way for him to sell that veg was into a box scheme. So that carried on for twenty years. And in twenty thirteen, he had he had amassed a few workers that. On, upon his retiral, he then allowed his workers to carry the business on and, and the way that it's been carried on is within a co-op structure. It's been trading for the last nine years, continuing selling organic vegetables locally. I really got started in farming uh, by joining uh, Colin's enterprise here. Previously, I had had some fruit picking, uh, agricultural experience, but only as a sort of farmhand. But what really sparked my interest was going into the organic uh, methods of growing and I had done a bit of gardening on my own account. It was a natural thing for me to move into Colin's enterprise and to continue in, in, in an organic sphere and progress it further to now somebody that's actually operating the you know, an organic box scheme producing vegetables. The vegetables are grown because it, it gives us a, a small scale operation a chance to give a high value product direct to the consumer and box schemes tend to also want a variety as well. So these things can be tailored specifically to the box. And I think it, I think it suits a smaller scale operator because they're, well, they do what they do, but we do a lot of different things at a smaller scale. I think the main reason why we grow organically is because there's a very active consumer demand and we are here to supply that. And, and we also grow, there's also a set of standards that you can easily adhere to and we're with the Soil Association. So it's a whole set of requirements that do, um, one of the main benefits is the consumer gets pesticide, herbicide free veg which will, they will always pay a premium for that. The environmental benefits are mainly to the, to the soil, uh, to the wildlife, so that it doesn't seek to damage anything, it, it seeks to possibly coexist. And by doing that, I think there is, a, there is a payback in that the people, when they eat the vegetables, will feel that they're supporting that. Thanks. We control the most obvious one, weeds, by Many traditional methods that will be known to many gardeners, hoeing, hand weeding. Um, there are a few modern additions to the armory, if you like, you know, plastic mulches, um, which are very effective on a small scale, perhaps not on a field scale, but moving to the field scale, you can also use some quite heavy bits of equipment, steerage hoeing, uh, pulled by tractors that do a very good job and were used in all forms of agriculture, but are still used in organic farming. We maintain f fertility on the outside crops by ploughing in a clover lay, and this allows us to grow quite a wide variety of crops. Uh, moving into the tunnels, um, really three methods, um, uh, green manuring, crop residues, and trying a no-till method, and this also aids moisture retention within, tunnel, within the tunnel environment. The range is really wants to give us an all-round selection, so the bigger, the bigger field cropping is roots and brassicas, and possibly more into the summer we grow turnips, courgettes and peas and beans, and then moving into high, high summer or the crops that won't grow outdoors, 
basically things like celery, spring onions, um, lettuces, cucumbers, and also some bean crops as well. So that, that would be the, in short, the, the roster of items. How we grow vegetables all year round? Well, it's 50 weeks of the year. Um, the cold winter months are where the hardy brassicas come into play. So swades, kale, um, possibly cabbage, Brussels sprouts. Um, so it's a good time really if you like vegetables. And then when we're moving into the hungry gap, well, I'm afraid it's leeks, uh, stored potatoes. And eventually when spring comes, well, we can get into the tunnels and we can direct sow radishes and start planting some of our small but promising plants, lettuce, and we, we aim to carry on like that until we eventually get into field sowing.